Okay, I'm busy peeling away at my root vegetables so I can get ready for that root vegetable at a time. I have the yellow beet, one purple beet, Japanese beet. I have some turnips, parsnips, and what else? Oh, a couple of rutabagas in here. Getting ready to slice them up with a mandolin and to thin slices and then I'll layer them up and I'll show you when I'm starting to assemble. Okay, so getting ready to assemble the croissant with all our wonderful vegetables peeled and ready to go. And you can take a knife and slice them. I like using this little mandolin. It makes it perfectly even slice after you just run it. See how gorgeous those look. Now, if you have a mandolin at home, you do want to be careful when you're running your vegetable across the blade. It does make these beautiful slices. But when you get down to the bottom, I guess I've maybe been doing this for a while. I get close to the bottom and then I just use my two little tips of my fingernails to run it. And it does get a little tough there. Assembling. Just taking my slices, spreading them across a layer at a time. And always putting a little bit of onion in between, a drizzle of olive oil, a sprinkle of salt, and then you go to your next layer. And this is so amazing. When it's finished cooking, you cook it slowly at about 350 for even a couple of hours. The reason I love this dish is because you can kind of forget about it. There's no such thing as being overcooked here. Another layer. Yellow beets this time. Look how pretty that's going to look. Cut into it in layers and layers. Well, as usual, we have a little extra, but this gratin is nicely filling up. Onions are still going in the in-between layers. See these sprinkles of salt? A little drizzle of olive oil. So we'll just bake it nice and evenly. Now that's looking pretty. Very pretty. Usually do the top layer kind of orange, white, purple, orange, white, purple. I just kind of do it for drama. Now you are going to add a couple of eggs to about maybe four cups of milk. And you are going to pour it over your vegetables. Um, this is going to provide the steaming liquid. And you're going to see when the milk is about halfway up on the side of your pan. This is why I use a clear Pyrex to make this. Um, you are ready to steam. You'll cover with foil, pop in the oven. About 350 for a couple hours and it'll just melt into itself and bubble and be wonderful. Let's pop it in the oven. Ooh, the gratin is out of the oven. Steaming hot, all the layers came together so nicely. Now this is a perfect make-ahead. I could reheat it tomorrow, but look at that. Wow, does that look beautiful? 